Hey everybody, gonna bring you in on a new and exciting part of cooking uh, in the backyard, and that is gonna be a griddle. I've been uh, going over to my in-laws uh, who own a Blackstone, and uh, last weekend got really kind of addicted when we did some uh, cooking out on it, veggies that the wife really liked, and uh, some other really good foods, and even some chicken. Uh, so, I uh, went ahead and checked some of the sales and found uh, the Loco 26 inch. Yeah, 26 inch. Uh, two burners, uh, 30,000 BTUs, uh, or maybe just a little bit over that. Uh, but it's got the smart temp system. So I'm going to be doing the unboxing and we'll let you guys see that. All right, there it is. It's the 26 inch. It's got two burners, even though there's three that are shown up front. Uh, it gives you an idea of the smart temp control. I'll zoom in a little bit. So you can actually control your temperature in 25 degree increments. I want, I want to say it's nine settings. So you can step it up in 25 degree increments. And then there's a thermocouple in there that gives feedback uh, to the temperature controllers. And so it will either increase your propane uh, or it'll cut off a burner uh, in order to keep that temperature uh, right where you want it. So we'll test that out a little bit later, but I wanted to give you a little bit of a shot of the box. So this is what I currently have, uh, a big green egg. Back in that corner of the yard uh, or the patio, that used to be where I kept my propane grill. Uh, we used to burn through one of those every two years. I uh, finally got tired of doing it and have been doing most of the cooking on the big green egg. But now uh, I want to go a little bit faster and have a little more variety. So we went ahead and picked up the Loco. This is a series one. Uh, so there's upgrades that I've seen for the series two uh, are a little bit different shape on the burner tubes some difference with the logo and the grease tray is bigger it's still going to be a great griddle this one normally retailed at 700 dollars when it first came out i was able to pick it up for 269 on sale at home depot uh, and today was delivery day so my daughter wheeled it in and we are good to go Instead of putting your toe under and getting it pinched, you know, it's kind of not fun if you get your toe pretty hard. Uh, you push the brake down, and then on this side, you step on that, and then that releases the brake. So that's pretty cool. I like that. That's a good design. is the inside of the griddle under here is one burner and it is a bit harder to see there are pins on top this is the same burner I believe uh, but you've got uh, you've got two burners for each temperature controller and then this is going to be your thermocouple right there that's going to sit right on top on the bottom of the grill, uh, griddle plate. I got to get used to saying that. And that's going to give you your feedback on your temperature reading. So one thing that this grill does require griddle, I've got to get used to that. 
it does require the use of AC power. So, uh, gotta keep it near a power source. I've got that over there right next to where the camera tripod's sitting. Um, so, we'll get to that in a minute. But, here's the grill cover. Griddle cover. Logos in white. The Loco logo. And then, oh, look at that. There's a box in there. Okay. That's kind of heavy. Not too bad, though. There's the cooking surface. Man, that's deep. Okay, so 26 inches wide and probably a good 24 inches deep. I like it. All right. Got a little bit of a ding right here. It's kind of hot down. I guess you can see it with the sun reflecting off of it. A little bit of a ding right here. Oh, crap. Look at this. I will be contacting Loco. So see a little bit down there too so we'll see what we can get them to do i'm going to go ahead and get it assembled and then we'll see if they can just send us out a new cover the front's good here no it's not it's got to be base together forgot to be recording during the rest of that assembly that's okay Cabinet. Pull the phone off the field and show you what I'm talking about. These wires are coming down from under here and they come out through the bottom. Well, neither of those is red. I don't know. no way to tell either 
So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna plug one up, see if it fits. If it fits, great. If for some reason this doesn't work, then we'll switch those wires around first. Okay, folks. 
see if we can get it going. We're going to go on low. Uh, show you guys some of the fun features about this while she's warming up. So, you can see those burners are climbing in temperature. That's because the thermocouple is telling those knobs the temperature it's at. So, I've got them set both to 275. Yep, it shut itself off. I don't know if you heard that. See a little bit of smoke coming from there. That's not a big deal. Temperature's still climbing up a little bit. And then as that goes back down, it'll turn itself back on. And the other burn just shut itself off too. Flame, which is why this one is still up. There we go. Super low. Okay, well that's good. It stays on and manages down at that temp. So let's go ahead. Ooh, kicked on pretty good there. So let's go to 350. And while we wait for that, we'll have a beverage. All right. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Uh, granted, it's all—all all my frustration is around the uh, the damage that was probably received in shipping. Uh, could have been in storage, but I'm just going to talk to the customer service department and see what they want to do about that. Hopefully they'll at least do something, but you know what, honestly, if not, I might be okay with it. All right, so temperatures are still climbing. I'm not going to bother putting the propane cylinder in there yet, but that's where you would put it, and then you can set that down. Uh, one of the things that I noticed is the shell, the grease tray, is not very secure in there. Granted, it does have a little bit of a slope down, so that you don't pour grease back into the cabin, cab, cabinet, whatever. So in order to fix that, there's little tabs there. I'm just gonna pinch them in. And that should hold it a little bit better. Okay, so I've bent those tabs in quite a bit. Let's see if it holds it. Yeah, it's a lot better. It's got a little wobble, but that's all right. All right, so 350. And they both cut way back. Let's see if those runners actually stayed on. Mm -hmm. Yep, they did. So it doesn't shut them off. I would assume that's because there's not a solenoid in there to totally shut it off and then get it burning again. Uh, but there is just a half a burner going. So that's the right side of the left burner set. The left side of the left burner set is not on. So if it's not cooking on one set of burners, this is going to be warm. This is going to be cool. This is going to be warm. This is going to be cool. That's just the nature of how that feature is going to work. Now this is 
warming up. I'm gonna call it a night, uh, at least video-wise. I'm gonna season that, so I'll probably put that on a separate video. So be sure to subscribe so you can catch that when it comes out. Uh, I think I'll probably need to get some more uh, oil. So we'll get that tomorrow, and I'll do a seasoning video probably Friday morning. Uh, it's been great having you guys here. Thank you for watching. Uh, look forward to 